hi guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials in today's videos i am going to explain about how to create a context variables in talent studio and how to run your job in multiple contexts like development or production and whatever it may be and i am also going to illustrate you about how to create a separate values how to create a variable with separate values in multiple contexts now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic Okay guys, what I have done is, I have created a new job named context variables underscore illustration here. Now, what I am going to illustrate in this example is, in this uh, video is, I want to illustrate you what is the difference between context variables and normal variables. Now, normal variables are nothing but, whenever you assign a particular value to that particular variable, then the variable value will not change in any context like if you are running it in development context or production context that particular value or that particular value of a variable it will remain same as it is but if you are creating some context variable then what it happens is the value will be different for development context as well as the value is different for production context unless you give the same values for both the contexts now what I am saying is suppose if you have a value x is equal to 1 in development context and you have mentioned x is equal to 10 for the production context whenever you are running your job in the development context then the uh, job itself will take the value of x as 1 if it, um, by default when you are running in a development context. Suppose if you change the context as the production whenever you are running then the value of x will be taken as 10 by default by the job itself whenever you, whenever you are running it in a production context that is how suppose if you are uh, like uh, we have some sort of parameters which needs to be modified whenever you are changing the context like if you are changing the development or uh, if you want to run the same job in development and production environments but in a different uh, but with a different variables then you can use this uh, this type of context variables and as well as context groups here so what it will do is it will run in development context with some sort of variables and it will run products in the context uh, in the production context with some other sort of variables so what the context variables will be said in a sim in a simple way is context variables are nothing but a variables that are specific to a particular context so that is the main definition of context variables now i will illustrate you with the help of uh, example here now what i am doing is i am creating a t5 which is i am going to illustrate with a simple example now what I am doing is, I am inserting a T file input delimited here. I am also printing a, as I am inserting a T log row component here. Now what I want to do is, I want to edit some schema and the schema is nothing but products dot, uh, product name. The, I am using the same file which I have used in, for the last couple of lectures and month as a string and then price which is a integer. So I am changing the string data type to integer. I am clicking OK here. I am saving it. And I need to specify the path for the input file here. First of all, I would like to run with the common value. I am running it. Under the final step, we have talent folder here. Under the talent folder, we have products.txt. I am saving it. Now, here we have a field separator as a semicolon, but the say here the field separator is comma. Here the header value is 1 because we have one row as a header so I want to skip that particular row in order to get the in order to get only the data records. So this is the contents that are present in the products.txt sorry these are the contents present in the products.txt where the first row is a header so I am I have mentioned one as a header row. So if you want to skip all these four rows then you can mention the header value as 4 because uh, whatever the number that you mentioned in the header row it will skip that many number of rows uh, in your file. So what I am doing is I have mentioned header value as 1 so it will skip the first row and uh, consider all the remaining rows as uh, data rows. I am saving it. What I am doing is I am going to talent studio. I am connecting this t, input, t file input delimited to t log row and I am changing the mode to table and I am also syncing the columns I am saving it and I am going to run tap I am first of all I am running it I am I would like to show you what is the difference between the normal variables and context variables now what it happens is 
it is uh, successfully executing here if you observe this the complete path this is nothing but a uh, some sort of variable suppose if you assign this and complete value to this some particular value like uh, some particular variable suppose i want to declare some variable as uh, where is equal, where x is equal to this uh, complete text path which is a string then i have i can if i mention x only here then what it will take is it will only take the value related uh, like uh, it will only take this particular uh, products.txt whenever you run this uh, you run the job you run this job in both pro development as well as production context but i don't want that particular type of uh, consideration now what i want to do is i want to create a context variable here suppose if you want to uh, create a separate context like if you want to create a production context then you can click the plus button which is uh, on the right side of the like context table suppose if you want to create a new context variable then you can click the plus button which is present below the table context table now i want to create a context variable here and i want i am clicking plus button which is below the context table now i am giving a name it as file path and which is a string and here for the value what i am doing is whatever the component here we are having i want to give this as complete path i am copying it what i am doing is i am going to again context variables and in the values path i am giving it as this complete path now and for the file path we have a default context here and here for the the value is which is a string and the value is this until that particular folder name now what how i am changing is i am going to component tab component tab here again now here what i am doing is i am removing this complete path and i am naming it as context whenever you want to use the particular context variables that you have created then you, you need to specify it as context dot file file whatever the file name that you have mentioned not a file name whatever the variable name that you have mentioned here the variable name is file path so i have mentioned file path here and if you want to use uh, context group or context path then you can select you can write it by starting with uh, context and then dot followed by whatever the variable that you have if you want to know all the context variables present in your job then you can click context and then uh, if you click the control space bar then it will show you whatever the like uh, context variables that you have i am saving it for now now what it will do is whatever the context dot file path what we have specified here context dot file path here and in the context dot file path the path, the value is till the talent folder now once the talent folder will get retrieved i am using concatenation operator here now what this concatenation operator will uh, do is it will combine this context dot file path with the product dot txt and that what it means is it will get the complete path here so that is what i want that is what i want so i am running it if you observe the changes there will be no change in the execution it will execute uh, how, whatever the previous execution is there so it is uh, printing the same output now it is working fine so this is how you can create a context variable here you can also create a context variable named as uh, i want to create a context variable suppose uh, name as a hub and which is a integer i am changing the data type to integer here and if i want to give the value as 1 2 3 and suppose if you want to print that particular value if i want to print that particular value using a t file what should i mention here t message i am just clicking here t message box and under the t message box if i mention for the me for the message what i am doing is context hub so i am saving it i am running it so i am clicking with the trigger here on sub job ok t message box i am running it if you observe that first of all it will get printed this come okay it is showing some error here okay it should be integer it should be a string now what i am doing is i am it is a string now let us see whether it is it will get executed or not yeah it is getting executed now it printed the first table if you observe this 
here the first one two three is here under i am using here the message box because message box will only print the integer content that is why i convert this one two three into a integer i appended the int i appended that particular value with the integer keyword that is why it is getting one two three integer so this is how you can also man you can also use that particular uh, what we call the context variables you can create as many as context variables in your particular job now what i am want to do is i want to create a sep i want to delete this center row like a some variable some variable i want to create a new context here named as production i am giving a new name as production and i am clicking okay here and i am changing the old one default one i am giving some name like uh, development now if you observe that these two are nothing but development as well as production i am clicking okay so if you observe that by default whenever you are you will create a new context here the what are the value that is present for the previous uh, context it will automatically get copied so if you consider this file path for previously we have default here now we changed the name as development now the whatever the value present uh, under the da, like uh, whatever the value present for the file path in the development context will gets copied into the production value context variable so this is how it will done now what i want to do is i want to change a little bit here uh, what i want to do is i want to create a new folder here under the dev we uh, i want to create a new folder named as dev and slash now if i run the if i run a particular uh, if i run this job and in a development context then i want to print the output file in development folder and if i want to pr print the if i am running the value if i am running the job in production context then i want to print it in prod context prod folder now this is the now what happens is previously we have file path as only single value now we have two context and two separate values here here for the file path i have created a new file new file path and for the production for the production the file path value is little bit different here similarly now let us see how the change will appear here now i am changing this context i am click i am giving the output t file output t limited what i am doing is for the input i need to change this for the input what i need to do is i need to re uh, say uh, like uh, keep it as a old one where product.txt is present for the output itself i want to change so what i am doing is for the output i am writing context here i am clicking control space bar and it is getting the what are the context variables available for you and i am clicking context dot file path now i want to convert this as a string like i want to concatenate with the pro what are the file name that i want i am writing it as file name uh, context sample dot txt and i want the field separator as comma here i am saving it and here also i am including the header also and i am saving it so i am connecting the t log row component with t or file output t limited now it is working fine now what i am doing is i want to change a little bit for the t file output t limited and click this schema like a sync columns here now what we want is we have if you go to run tab you are getting a two uh, you will get all the variables that you have will get present in this right side of this run cons running console execution console now what it will do is it will print all the context variables that you have in your particular job like file path and whatever it may be similarly we have available context as development as well as pro pro production if you want to run the pro job in pro development context then you can click development here and click run here now what it will do is it is successfully executed now i am getting this i have i am going to this folder here if you observe this we here the, the new folder named as dev is created and under this we have a context sample.txt which have some sort of text here so this is the text that we have and i am going to i am going to back folder and here the products.txt prod, prod folder is not there now what i am doing is i am changing the context to production now i am saving it and i am running it 
so if you observe that a new folder named as production will also get prod we also appeared in this uh, folder now if i double click this context sample.txt then it is uh, showing some values so this is how running a separate running uh, running a context variable in uh, multiple contexts here yeah. here i have created only co one context variable for file path if you want to assign a different value suppose if you want to assign a different uh, uh, numerical values to a particular variable in different context suppose if you want to execute a variable x is equal to 1 2 3 for the development context then you can specify a variable x and for the under the development you can assign a value as 1 2 3 and uh, under the suppose if i want to assign a value pro under the production as 1000 then i am i will mention the value as 1000 under the value of uh, production in the context variable itself so this is how you can create the context variables in talent studio and this is how you can assign it like different values to a different context and i also illustrated you about how to run in multiple contexts like development and production you can create as many contexts you want suppose like i have created only development and production you can also create a new a new context like as testing or you can also create new case like uh, xyz and whatever it may be you can create as many test as many contexts as you want and you can also create as many context variables as you want so this is all about context variables and all in the coming lectures i am going to explain about how to create a like a context groups and a database context groups and all and also i will going to illustrate you about a two components related to this context variables named as t context load and t context term i am going to illustrate all this way all these things in the coming lectures now with uh, like uh, that's all with for this video guys thank you for watching